Hi and welcome to Speedy Reads from Faster Ideas, 12 Days of Christmas, where we review 12 books that have really inspired us over the years. And today's book is Ways of Seeing by John Berger. Now, if you've never heard of John Berger, he was an art critic, painter and novelist who was born in London. And in the 1970s, he had a television series of 30 minute films called Ways of Seeing. And this was meant to be an antidote to another really famous series that had been on TV recently at that point, which was Kenneth Clark's Civilization series, which was again really highly regarded and like given lots of critical acclaim, but it represented a very traditional view of Western art and sort of the cultural beliefs. And John Berger wanted to kind of turn that on its head and offer a completely different viewpoint. The art that Kenneth Clark was looking at in the Civilization series had been for many hundred years before. So John Berger was trying to offer a new perspective on the world that we live in today um, and shift our way of thinking or our ways of seeing, if you like. Um, and he wanted to look at what had changed in our ways of seeing in the time between when that art was made and the, t the time that he was in in the early 70s. That said, although this book was written and that series was produced in the early 70s, a lot of the content of this book is so relevant to today's society. My history with this book uh, actually started when I was 16. My art teacher uh, in my A-levels at school, uh, Mr. the late great Mr. Harrop, um, he uh, recommended it to us to help us with our creative thinking when we were thinking about art. But then when I went on to do history of art at university, it was also on the um, book reading list. Um, and it continues to be an important art history book and creative thinking book. Um, on many, many university courses. It's a great short book. It's really, really easy to read. Um, it's basically four sections to it. And John looks at things like um, the female form in art, and he looks at advertising and media of the time, but there's a lot in there you can resonate with today. He looks at the idea of the male gaze, which in the 70s was sort of a new thing uh, that he introduced, and the objectification of women. Um, but it was also how we conceive things, how we perceive things, the gap between what we can see and what we know. And there's lots of things in there that will really make you see things in a different way. Um, it's a really well written book. Um, I always go back to it when I'm sort of working on something where there's a bit of, you know, deep conceptual thinking that needs to go on. Um, I always recommend it to people um, because it makes a great little book. Um, I just have a lot of love for this book um, and um, I think you know it's, it makes a great present for anyone who's um, potentially going into any kind of creative um, study um, but also is someone who's just really curious about where, the way the world works. It's, it's a really really good book for sort of seeing things differently from a visual perspective. So great for art directors, great for um, for anyone really and it's a great loo book, it's nice and short, um, it's full of lovely pictures from the 70s which are lovely sort of retro things. So if you want to pick up Ways of Seeing by John Berger you can go to our fasteridearsbookshop.org bookshop, um, links below where you can pick that up along with all our other Speedia Reads book reviews. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel where you'll be able to get all the videos we put out of Faster Ideas into your YouTube feed, plus like, follow, share and subscribe wherever you find us, which is at Faster Ideas on LinkedIn, Twitter, Facebook and Instagram. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.